Feedback is one of the key elements of learning. It promotes the opportunity to assess, reflect and rethink for better understanding. Yeah, Jamie was the first person, so she was just outside the circle. Okay, let's get our screens up early. It's not, you know, we're not doing any flash things or anything. It's not rocket science. Just, just get it's really good for her to give us feedback. So we know what we're doing wrong or we know what we should, like, what we are doing right. So we know how to improve our game. What's the guard position? Straight back. Yeah, you know she'll never okay, so completely like sides. trade you in the ground, like completely put you down. You know she'll never do that. She'll always be like cri um, constructive criticism. It will always be that. It will never be anything that will make you not want to get back out on the field. So Jenny, we're just going to have a look at your positioning. So in here we've got Jamie, who's your other fullback out here, and Lydia out here, and Queensland have got the ball. I've been using Game Breaker now for, for about two or three years, and um, so now I don't coach without it. And so here, they have now eliminated Lydia, who's our right half, okay? So one of our defenders has now been eliminated. So now, what do you reckon your job is here? Well, Jamie doesn't really know what's going on behind her, so I should tell her to step up. I should tell to make the tackle outside the circle, so definitely release her and tell yep. her to make the tackle step up. Yep. Yeah, and I need to definitely move to cover her. Yep. Being and able to see it. themselves is really important because a lot of players don't actually understand what's happening out there. They don't realise, they're not thinking about it um, and that kind of thing. So they need to, they need to think about uh, what's happening out there. They need to understand why we might be doing something. They've got right into the circle without even having a stick laid on them. From okay. the sideline. From the sideline. So, <laughs> not, not, not flash hockey, is yeah. it? <laughs> uh, not Talk when about, you see it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about putting ourselves under pressure. <laughs> okay, so Jamie backs back, backs back, backs back. Uh -oh. And now, now this girl's come right into play and you and Jamie have been caught flat. Yeah, okay. I definitely needed to have shuffled. Shuffled Around more. There. We should have nailed them. Uh, out <laughs> should on have the got to that stage. Yeah. You need to be honest and upfront. You need to be fair. You need to be certainly transparent. I don't necessarily think I need to be their friend. I'm happy if they want to be, but I don't go out of my way to be everybody's friend. And you have to be caring. You have to care about your athletes as well. You know, you have to look after them. You have to make sure that they're given the best opportunity that they can be given that positive feedback all the time, you know, was obviously the players enjoyed the feedback too. They yeah. believed that, you know, there was honesty in the feedback. Well, she moved up and down the spectrum, didn't she? Yeah. She went she from instruction to questioning and, and back. And knowing too which players are going to, and it would have been hard for her not knowing them that well, but recognising that some don't mind the criticism publicly, um, but knowing too that sometimes that's not good for players that you need to take them aside. The other thing I loved was, you know, the, the video session was the what happens next yep. scenario, yep. you know, which, which promotes real understanding. So not only that, what would you want others to do around you? You know, because it's, cause sports, you know, it's an uncertain environment, it's always changing, you've got lots of people making different decisions. So she's trying to get some synergy there with, um, with, with the girls so that they understand what they should be doing there but they also what others should be doing so it's a, it's a team decision making or a unit decision making. Yeah. The interesting thing was it wasn't what could you do next but what could we do better yeah. in that scenario as well which I think is a really big learning curve. Mm. I think the challenge is when, you, when you're looking at video and you're working through that analysis and, and, and checking their understanding and decision making is that they then can transfer it out on the field because some players and athletes are, are very astute and can look at it on the footage and that next step is I think the test of their understanding if they can then apply it and the coach being able to say well this is you know what you saw and how you responded and your comments and when you watch it on video now let's see if we can transfer it and under pressure in the real situation. Great work! So just take it back to that situation with Tony again. Just drop it in. Tony turns his back. As he turns his back now, do we need to drop? Okay, so just be aware now, although you're holding a line, there's the opportunity to pressure them and force them where? Further back, away from your goal. So we'll think about that. The rewind, we, we always say, you know, let it run on. So you've seen a moment, let it run on a phase so you can see what the outcome was and then rewind it back two phases back to 
when the session broke down. So just some, something simple, you know, press the well, rewind like button before you start down. coaching. Because if you don't rewind so we, it, you don't create the situation or the picture think, think that was, was actually there at that point. And the players are quite used to it, so they'll get into the right positions. But for novice coaches, you've actually got to work pretty hard to, right, where were you again? Uh, you weren't there, were you? Come on, rewind it back. Think back where you were and just get them back into a habit of that. So rewind just helps you paint the picture and let them see what maybe you've seen as a coach or let them see something completely different that you didn't see. Sometimes for novice coaches, understanding when the coachable moment is, when to actually intervene, and I liked that use of that rewind, but I felt he checked that by getting their feedback. So the less experienced coach wouldn't necessarily have to be perfect in, in their recollection of the situation, but to actually engage their players to do it for them.